Okay, so let's work through the following question. So, of all the shapes uh, with a given volume, the sphere is the one uh, with the smallest surface area. This is why animals curl up into balls when they are cold. Reducing their surface area reduces the loss of their body heat. So, for example, when a when an animal is curled up in a sphere, for example, less of its body is exposed to the elements and it's able to stay warmer because of that. The baby hedgehog in the photo has a volume of 55, point, sorry, 55 cubic centimeters. Uh, it is huddled into the shape, which is approximately a sphere. So we can see that roughly it's a sphere. Give your answer to the following question correct to one decimal place. So assuming the hedgehog is a sphere, find its radius. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula here to figure it, to figure that one out. And we're trying to get this radius here. So what we can say is that 55 is equal to 4 over 3 pi or cubed. Okay. Now we're interested in just getting this pi or cubed on its own. So what we do, well, first thing we do is we can just multiply this out. So it's going to be so 4 divided by 3, which is that, multiplied by pi, which is that. So it's uh, 4.188. So it's going to be 4 4.188. Eight, or cubed is equal to 55. So now what we want to do is we want to get R and so on. Now, so this is 4.188 multiplied by R. So if we think about, so multiplication, the opposite of multiplication is division. So we know that if the operation is multiplication that's at play here, we have to use the opposite of that, which is division. So essentially what we want to do is we want to turn this 4.188 to a one. So how do we do that? We divide it by itself. So 4.188. If we divide this side by 4.188, we have to divide the other side by 4.188. So when we're manipulating formulas like this, whatever we do on one side, whatever operation we carry out on one side, we have to do exactly the same on the other side. So that will, so this will divide into itself once and it will divide into itself once and that changes it to a one, okay? So then it's one multiplied by r cubed. So what that's going to be just it's just going to be r cubed, like so. Is equal to fifty five divided by this. So if we take fifty five and we divide it by four point one eight eight, that's equal to thirteen point one three two. Let's say so thirteen point one three two. So now what we want to do is we want to we want to get the R on its own. So we can see here, so this is a power. So let's say so we have R to the power of three. Now the opposite of a, of an index is a square or is a is a root. So in this case, this is to the power of three. So the opposite of this is going to be the third root of R. So just like the opposite of multiplication is division, the opposite of this is the uh, third root. So what that means is to get rid of this here we have to divide it, or sorry, we have to get the third root of it. So we, get, we do some, we do this, and what that will do is these two then will cancel out. So this will cancel out with this, and it'll just leave you with R. So it'll just leave you with the radius is equal to, now if we get the third root on this side, we have to get the third root on this side as well. So you have to get the third root, okay? So in order to get the third root, you can just use your calculator. So you just go in here, you can see this here. So this is the third root. So we're getting 13.132, and then you get the third root of that. So it's equal to 2.3, that's 2.35. The correct to one decimal place will be 2.4. So the radius then is equal to 2.4. So the radius then we've worked out here, the radius is equal to 2.4 centimeters. So that's the first part. So then we have to move on and work out the rest of the problem. So let's just, I wanna make space for myself here. So again, just pause the video as you need to. 
and to have a look and go back over it as you need to. So I'm just going to I'm just going to reduce this uh, so that so we can work with the rest of it. Um, okay, so that's the first part. So we've worked out we've worked out what the radius is. So that's that that's the first part here. Uh, find its surface area when it is curled up in a ball. So this is the formula here that we use to get the surface area of a sphere. It's because it's it's curled up in a ball, it's a sphere essentially. So we want to get the surface area of the sphere. So we just put in the information that we have here into this formula. So it's going to be four times i times the radius, which is 2.4 squared, like so. So we can just multiply this out. So it's going to be 2.4 squared multiplied by i multiplied by 4, which is equal to 72.38. Okay, and if we bring that up to one decimal place, it'll be 72.4. So this is going to be equal to 72.4 centimeters squared. Okay, so that's the uh, surface area. So the surface area is equal to 72.4 centimeters squared. So that's the surface area of a, of a sphere. Um, and like the way to think about that is like this is how much of the animal's body is exposed to the environment or the cold uh, when it's curled up in a ball. So the next part then, so that's, that's, your, that's the answer to this, your second part. The third part, assume that the hedgehog is a cylinder when it's stretched out. Assume further that the height of the cylinder is three centimeters and its radius is the, is the same as that in part one. What is the percentage increase in its surface area? So what we're going to use then is we'll use this then to get the surface area of the cylinder. So imagine if the animal stretches out. Okay, so this is like roughly, it would be a cylinder or something like that. And what we're saying is that this cylinder has a height of three, three centimeters. So imagine this is its head, so head and tail. And so you need to get this, like you need to get the surface, the curved surface area, but then you also need to get the, the area on both ends of the cylinder as well. So what you have to use then is this formula here, which is the cylinder's total surface area. So it's not just the area, the surface area of the curve, it's the surface area of the curve and then the two ends. So we use this formula here to get to get the to get the um, the amount of the animal's body that's exposed to the cold when it's walking around, for example. So we just we can just put in the information that we have. So it's going to be two two multiplied by pi, okay, which is this multiplied by the radius, which is 2.4, multiplied by the radius again, which is 2.4, plus the height, which we're saying is 3. So if we add these up, so this is, uh, we're saying it's 5.4 in brackets, multiplied by the radius, which is 2.4, multiplied by pi, multiply by 2. So we can just multiply this out using the calculator. So it'll be something like this. So it'll be 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 2.4 multiplied by 5.4. So that's equal to 81.43. So this is equal to 81.43 centimeters, centimeters cubed. So what we can see here is that there's an increase. So when the animal is curled up in a ball, this here is the amount of its body that's exposed to the cold. 
and when it's walking around stretched out this is the amount of its body that's exposed to the cold so we want to find out what's the difference between these two so it's going to be an increase of what so we have 81.43 minus 72.4 72.4 so that's an increase of about 9.03 9.03 9.03 9.03 and this should be this isn't cubed this should be its surface area so it's squared Okay, so it's squared. So there's an increase of 9.03 centimeters squared. So that's how much, it so basically its surface area has increased by this amount. So we want to find out what is, it, what is the percentage increase in its surface area when it's walking around compared to when it's curled up. So, so what's this? So what we're trying to figure out is what's this number as a percentage of this number? So, okay, so what's that going to be? So it's 9.03 over 72.4 multiplied by 100 over one. So what's that going to look like? So it'll be 9.03 divided by 72.4 And then you're multiplying it by multiply by 100, which is equal to 12. So we we say 12.4. So it's equal to 12.4 percent. Okay. So what we're saying then is that so what is the percentage increase? So there's a percentage increase of 12.4 percent. So when the animal is curled up in a ball, this is how much of its uh, body is exposed to the cold. When it starts to walk around and stretch out, this is how much of its body is exposed to the cold. When it stands up, this, its surface area increases by this amount. So this is an, as a percentage of when it's curled up. This is, it's an increase of 12.4%. So there's an increase in surface area of 12.4%. Okay, so that's that question and that's all the parts of that question and how you work it out. Um, so again, just watch the video, pause it, go back over it as you need to and um, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, thank you.